Let's face it, if you write on this video, this is because you need a little help with your code. And that's totally okay, we all been there before. Whether you're beginner or experienced at coding, chances are that one day you will need to update some code that you wrote a long time ago. And you'll be thinking, who the f*** wrote this monstrosity? All of that to discover that it was indeed you, the author of this monstrosity. In this short video, I want to give you five simple rules to write cleaner code that I learned the other way. With all those years writing code and having pull requests refused, now I feel legitimate enough to share those tips with you. Let's start with the first tip. Learn how to use conditions. Conditions are one of the most fundamental principles in programming, but often I see junior developers using them the wrong way. Not that their code doesn't work, but often their code isn't readable at all. And a good developer is a developer that makes code that is easily understandable by others. Anyone must be able to open your file and understand at a glance what's going on and what the logic is. Take a look to this code. This code basically checks if the user has the right permission to delete a post in the database. You can see a bunch of encapsulated conditions. Uh, this is what we call nexted if. This is really bad for your code readability because when reading it, you have to keep the context in your mind of what's happening at each level of your conditions. You can actually simplify this logic easily by stopping the function if the right conditions are met. So for instance, you can check if the post exists or not. And if it doesn't, you, you throw. You can check if the offer is the right one. Otherwise, you throw and then you can delete all of that. So this code does essentially does exactly the same thing that before, except that it's clearly readable. So if the post doesn't exist, we throw an error and stop the execution of the function right there. If it exists, we then check if the user has the permission to edit the post. If everything looks good, we continue and execute our main logic. Tip number two, a good developer is a lazy developer. Never repeat yourself. This is something that I see quite often in code bases. Pieces of logic that are being duplicated and often I suspect that this is only by pure laziness. Not that I've never done it. Sometimes you need to code really fast to quickly test something out and you can end up copy pasting some logic everywhere like if there was no tomorrow. But look at this code for instance. We have two functions. We have delete post and make post public that actually starts with the same set of checks. This is duplicated code right there. We can create, for instance, a function that we call can's user update post. This function will be responsible to do all those checks. The cool thing by adopting this mindset is that we are cleaning our code by making it shorter and reusable. But also, if in the future, if you will ever need to add an extra check or change this logic, by changing this function, your whole code base will be updated because the logic lives in one place only. This one, I think, speaks for itself. Comment your logic, you will forget everything. <laughs> I don't know for you, but I'm pretty sure you're like me. There's something cool in opening some code and having some guidance on what's happening. When you cut something, at the very moment you're writing a piece of logic, the whole context of what's happening and why, it's right here in your brain but it won't be anymore in one month or probably even in one week. Adding some comments will help you and your team to understand better this code and in the future, it will make you save time. But don't overdo it though. Not everything should be commented. If your code is clear enough, split in logical pieces of logic with a good naming and consistency of code style throughout the whole code base, you shouldn't need that much of it. You can add comment to things that can be unique to your code. You might have some edge cases somewhere write a comment. You might have coded a patch to quickly fix a bug, write a comment. You write a complex piece of algorithm, write comments. But don't write one for every new line you're coding. You're not writing a novel. <laughs> okay, tips four, do not recreate the wheel. Use libraries to help you. This one is close to my heart. Uh, let me tell you a little story to illustrate my point. In 2018, I was doing contracting gigs and I joined a company in London as a full stack software engineer. Only one developer was working on the project with an intern. He was the only dude who wrote most of the code base and they were looking at adding more devs to accelerate their growth. But they couldn't keep new developers joining the team. They were all leaving one after the other. After maybe one week joining the company, I did the exact same. Worse, actually. I got fired. I was unable to adapt to their tech stack. I was, to be honest, so happy to get fired, you can't even imagine how happy I was. Basically, the solo developers was creating his own libraries in the hope of becoming notables among other devs. He created his own Redux and his own GraphQL. It was horrible, terrible, disgusting. <laughs> this mindset kills me, but unfortunately, it's quite common with developers. 
Don't be a douche and use libraries. Otherwise, you'll be losing time and most likely create bug when it's not needed. Okay, last tip, and I think this is my favorite. It might be a bit weird at first, but hear me out. One day you will be facing bugs that seems to be unsolvable. You will blame the programming language, you will blame your computer, you will blame others, but sometimes the issue is right here, in front of your eyes, but you won't see it. The solution will be and is indeed obvious, but you, at this very moment, you are blinded, saturated, drained by all the mental effort it takes to code and debug. Studies have shown that being outside or in nature can restore and strengthen our mental capacities, increasing our focus and our attention. I can tell you how many times the only thing I needed to solve a bug was to take off a little. <laughs> I'm just joking, I just wanted to check if you were still following. I meant that sometimes all that I need was just to stay away from my code a little. When you will come back with a fresh brain, what seems impossible before will be obvious in seconds. We're not machines, our brains need break very much like our muscles need breaks between sets at the gym. Okay, that's it for today. Hope you like this format. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tell me in the comments if you agree with my tips or if you want more of them. See you on the next video. Bye.